Hey everybody, I'm Jim Harmer from ImprovePhotography.com. Today I want to show you this photo. This was taken by Jeff Harmon, our hobbyist editor at Improve Photography and the host of the Photo Taco podcast. And I asked him if I could use it in a tutorial. So this is the final picture after about two minutes of Lightroom and Photoshop work that I'm going to show you. And this is the photo straight out of camera. Straight out of the camera, it was, you know, shot well, but it was just missing a lot of that mood. And I think that we've captured a lot more of that in this final photo. So let's take it step by step, and I'll show you how to do it in two minutes. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the exposure right on the tents. They're really dark on some flaps and really bright in other areas just because of the way the flash passed through them. So first we're going to do our global edits, then we're going to f then we're going to fix those kind of spot problems. First thing is I'm going to bring up the shadows because we're really dark in here, which is kind of just a creative choice, but I think I want a little bit. I think we'll add just a little bit of clarity and a tad bit of contrast. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm going to do for my global edit. Maybe I'll click in here and see if we can get a white balance adjustment. All right, that's just fine. Now I'm going to go to the adjustment brush and I'm going to brush with a soft brush but not too soft because I don't want to have a halo around the tent. I'm just going, uh, maybe even a little bit less than that. I'm just going to brush this entire tent area and we're going to normalize the exposure over the tent. So I'm going to bring my my shadows up to make the dark parts a little bit brighter and I'm going to take my highlights down to make the bright parts darker. And then, now that the exposure is normalized, I can bring up the exposure of the whole tent, and now it looks like it really is glowing. All right, we did that on one tent. Now we're going to do just the exact same thing on the other tent. Just going to paint the entire tent here. Double click it to go back to zero if you ever, ever need to bring a slider back down to zero. All right, we've normalized our exposure. Now we're going to bring it up to taste, however we bright we want that to be. Okay, we were done. Now, if the the tents were these brights, that bright, there would be some some light spilling out on the ground. So for this, we are going to use a very feathered brush, and a little bit larger, and we're just going to paint the ground just like there were there was light spilling out from around these two tents. I'm just going to paint a little area there bring up that exposure, and then we're going to warm it to make it look like it's light. Oh, whoa, whoa, a lot of light there. Okay, something like that. Makes it look more normal now that that light really is coming from the tent because it's affecting the scene around it. Okay, we've done pretty good. Now, the stars are good here, but we could have a lot more stars. So, if you know you're an astronomer and you want to do this all perfect, this is going to drive you just absolutely crazy. But if you're like me and you're a photographer and you just want to make something pretty, uh, you, you couldn't tell the difference between Cassiopeia and the moon, uh, then this is a cool technique for you. So watch, I'm going to select Command-A, Command-C, or Control-A, Control-C, and then Control-V. I'm going to just make a copy of, the, of that layer here. Now watch what I do. Uh, what I want to do is copy the stars from this layer and add them to the layer below. So if I just add, put this on lighten right now, it's only going to take the brightest parts of the image and add it over. And then we can move this and voila, it looks like we have more stars. But it also screwed things up everywhere else. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take this layer and we're going to go onto filter uh, camera raw filter. So we can take just this layer back into camera raw and we're going to crank up the contrast. Now the reason I'm doing that, maybe we'll drop our blacks a little bit too, is I just want to get the stars. I don't want to get any of the blue here. And ideally I wouldn't get any of these tents, but that's okay. We'll fix that later. And I say okay. Now what we've created is this really dark layer because we're only going to add the brightest pixels back in. And so I'm going to go to this dark layer and I'm just going to erase the tents. Just draw a circle around them and kill them so that we don't add that back on. Now I have both layers. Now I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Now do you see what we did? We've taken the stars and flipped them like that so now we've doubled the number of stars. Now we messed up a couple areas on the trees so no big deal. We just got to go delete those quick 
run a lasso around them and delete them. And because it's only adding the brightest pixels, we can do this really as many times as you want to add more stars to the night sky. It's a really, really cool technique, and, uh, and we can just keep going as, as far as you want. Uh, if we want the stars to be a little bit larger in the frame, we can do that. And then we'll just do a little bit of cleanup, and we're done. So that's our photo. That is, whoops, that is how we have gone from our original uh, with, come on, you're ruining the end of the tutorial. <laughs> that's how we've gone from our original picture right there to that. Ah, one more thing I forgot to show you. And it is this. So notice in the in the darks in the sky here uh, how we have just cool variations whereas in the original picture it just looks bleh kind of like a blank sky. Well, this is how we did that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um let's just take this. This is the one that doesn't have all that well. Here we go. Come on, you're ruining the tutorial. We're going to take a virtual copy here and reset this. So this is after we've added in the stars, but nothing done to the sky. And I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast. And then watch this. I'm going to take a, an adjustment brush, make it really big. I'm using the right bracket key to do that. And what I want to do is just paint in some little areas of interest so that it doesn't look just like a blank sky, like there's something cool going on in there. And I'm just going to add contrast and then bring it back just to taste. Mm, something like that. It just adds a little bit of a gradient, a little bit of interest to the sky because, well, that just looks kind of like a blank canvas. We want something cool going on there. That's it. That's the tutorial. Thanks for Je to Jeff Harmon for sharing this photo with us. And we'll see you on improvedphotography.com. Bye.